I wish I didn't have to turn back on the camera and speak about this matter again. I wish I could leave it at the first video and never think about anything that Deck has done ever again, ever. Because speaking to Deck while pretending to be that girl was hard for me to, you know, be a part of. At every single point of the day, I felt sick. You can see in the last video, all the messages, I'm literally shaking out of anger and fucking nerves and everything. And I wish, I wish I could have just left it there and just been done with it. I never intended to make this part two, but I feel like I have to. After the first video went live, I received a few messages from people. Some of these messages were fake. You know, they're people that want to pretend that something's happened to them for clout, for attention, for anything. There were fake accounts made of Deck on Instagram pretending to be him, um, just to get followers and attention. I don't condone any of that. But I'm happy that I posted the video for this reason. Because amongst all of the lies that people just wanting attention, stories emerged about Deck from people that I have confirmed to know him. Every single person in this video, I've spoken with quite deeply. Every single person in this video, I've made sure knows Deck. I've made sure they're from the same village, town, whatever you want to call it. I've made sure that there is a connection there. There was so much crossover between so many different girls of similar things. I think everyone but one girl was underage that's a part of this video. Every single girl that I've put in this video as well, I've asked for permission and I've, you know, hidden their identities for their own protection because they're scared of him. If this reaches anybody else who has had a verified experience with Deck, if you know in your heart that you have had an experience with him, please, please go to the police. I can't stress that enough. Some people are scared, but just know that there are others out there doing it and it's the best thing you can do. You can put a full stop on that chapter and get him locked away because that's what he deserves. The more people that file reports, the better. So without any further hesitation, let's get going, I guess. All of the screenshots that aren't in this video, because again, there's way too many to include in a YouTube video, uh, will be in my Patreon, the link is down below. Um, I'll be posting those within the next 48 hours, so if you guys want to see them, head over to my Patreon and, you know, check them out. Viewer discretion is advised. The things that he says in this video and some of the things that girls out him for are not nice. I've seen your video exposing Deck. I went to school with him from nursery up until year 11. What you've shown doesn't surprise me. He would always ask girls in our year for pics and tights slash foot pics and would send dick pics randomly to girls who didn't ask for it or even suggest that they wanted to see it in any way. He also used to make fan accounts about people in our year. So yeah. Creepy bloke. I sent a message back about obviously how many messages I'd received at this point and uh, how it blew my mind. Thank you for exposing him for the creepy years. Sorry for messaging again, but I've been talking to people and it turns out his family are mega rich, like billionaires. His granddad is slash was in the House of Lords. His cousin has been screenshotting everything anyone has posted on about the situation. There was a lot of posts on Facebook in this area about obviously this and girls coming out about these stories, that's why most of them reached out to me. Just warning that the family may get shitty about it and it seems that they're trying to cover it up. So obviously when somebody said this to me, I looked into his family. I did research, I you know, put my detective hat on and had a look through and I've confirmed who his granddad is. His granddad is a billionaire and he was in the House of Lords. He's one of the top 10 richest people in England. Money scares a lot of people and it scared a lot of these girls into keeping quiet because they're not sure what they can do with that money. They've covered it up before, and I'm worried that he's gonna try and do it again. But thank you for exposing him. Hi, I'm friends of blank and blank. I'm not gonna say anyone's names in this video, as I mentioned before, because a lot of people are scared of him. They're scared of what him and his family can do to their lives in, you know, retaliation to them telling the truth. And I've saw what you did to Deck. He assaulted me and my friends. He picked us up, as we know him from town, and it was cold. He drove us to a random place behind a block of flats in pitch black. We got out for a fag and I got back and he jumped straight in. He started touching my leg and trying to be inappropriate. Shit, I pushed him off and he kept doing it. My friends were in the front at the time and didn't see anything. I was scared. My friend was then in the seat in front of him and because I pushed him off so many times he leant over to the front of the car and talking to them and secretly put his hand down the side of her and grabbed my friend's ass. She was too scared to tell us too. He got out of the car and had a conversation with his dad. And then he dropped us off at a nearby bus station. We all got out and told each other what he had done. He didn't touch one of my friends out of the three of us. I think she means he didn't not touch 
one of the friends, obviously, this lecture's a bitch. He sent dick pics of us and tried to get us to send pics of our legs. Meet him or give us money. We always just ignored him. My friend who he touched on the bum was 15 and I was 16. It was horrible, he's disgusting, and I'm happy you exposed him. You have saved a lot of girls from going through this. Everyone had the same story. Other people in their town knew about this. Unfortunately, people don't believe people when they say something for the first time. I know that this girl said that she's 16 in the video, but the fact that he was persistent in touching her when she pushed him off and she didn't want him to do it is sexual assault. The girl that he was 15 is another sexual assault on a minor. I don't care what you guys think, but go grabbing any girl on the bum when they don't want you to, if, if that girl pushes you off and you carry on, that's sexual assault. It's disgusting. The girl that he did this to that I know, I thought that was the only time he'd ever done this, but it's really not. He's done it to so, so many different people. So this is another girl. Uh, there's a bit of conversation at the top that she didn't want to um, you know, disclose because there was a lot of detail and it would have uh, like exposed who she is to deck. So for the sake of that, I'm gonna, you know, leave that out. So I send, that's so fucked. Do you have any photos of him, etc.? Like, did he ever send you anything or ask for anything? She says, I got this, and it's a dick pic. Unfortunately, I've seen Dex dick quite a few times now. And all it took was for me to get up a picture that he sent to me and compare it to this. And when you can see, you know, certain blemishes, you kind of inspect it. Doctor Inspector Dick over here. Um, like, I can verify that that is his dick. Obviously, I'm not going to show you a penis because I would get demonetized forever and probably arrested. But um, that is him. Vile. Did he ever make you like do anything if you think back? He was always trying to touch me. Like we'd go to town and he would try and do stuff like in the town. It was so weird. What a creep, man. Did you ever sleep together? No, because he wanted to do stuff in his car and I didn't want to. And he would never let me around his house. I think it's because of my age. Then she sends loads of screenshots from, you know, Facebook and people's Instagrams in the area. Um, you know, basically all of them saying, I knew he was like this. I could have seen this from a mile away. I'm so happy he's been exposed. Stuff like that. Literally everywhere, I can't thank you enough. Love that. Honestly, all my friends are so happy. I'm glad, man. Fuck that kid. Honestly, I'm surprised it wasn't done sooner. No one believed me. So many girls said that to me. So, so many girls said that nobody believed him. There were so many stories about deck in that area and for some reason, no one was believed. I'm not sure if it was his family throwing around money to, you know, save him, but nobody believed it. And because of the video I uploaded, these people are believed now. You know, people are apologizing for them. People are taking their sexual assault seriously. And I wish that I made this video sooner because some of these girls, it happened in the last eight months and I could have stopped them going through this situation and I will regret that for the rest of my life. Mike, I've watched your last video and it's sickening, but I really need to know something if you know it. My sister has mentioned this lad's name before. I know there's plenty of lads with the same name, but he honestly looks like the lad that my sister had spoken to before. I can't really tell from the video if it's him or not. My sister is 14. I do not want this happening to my sister or any other friends or anyone for that matter. Just any more info if you could give no matter how small, just as I can figure out if this is the lad that my sister has mentioned before. Like I've said, he hasn't said anything to her yet, but this turns out to be him. I want to stop the situation before it does happen. So I sent a message saying, hey, where do you live? Because I wanted to verify, you know, for her sake, if he is in that area that she believes he might be in. She said the town that Deck lives in, that's where she lives. And this girl has since blocked Deck on all platforms on her little sister's account. And this may have stopped her being a victim of Deck as well. So you know the guy in your YouTube video about a guy called Dequois? I have a lot more on that guy that I can tell you about. I knew him personally and this is very recent stuff. So I said, please, you know, send it over. Would it be okay if I sent it in a voice message? There's a lot to talk about. Please do. So I met Deck at a festival called Focus and it's like a Christian festival. And he was camping next to me. And I've never seen him there before. I've been going there for the past four years. And, um, he seemed really nice at first. He was really, he was quite funny to be honest. And I'm a bit of a geek from people that were funny, but at the time I literally just turned 15. Anyway, he was like a bit flirty and stuff. And I was a bit, I don't really know much about him, but I'll be honest, I was being a bit flirty with him back. And um, 
anyway, we kissed one night and it was all really nice and everything. And then he he tried to like do some stuff with me and I was like, I don't know, we're kind of at a Christian festival. It feels a bit awkward doing that. Um, and then, uh, oh my gosh, it's so weird talking about it. Um, he basically would say stuff like, um, come into my tent, we can literally just have sex in here. And I'd just be like, I'm not doing that. I'm with my mate, uh, my family are literally in the tent next to yours. Like, that's just not going to happen. Um, and stuff like that. Um, but I, I only have a big pic of him. But I, because I blocked him on everything, but there's so much more, which I'll get into. There's about five minutes, five, six minutes of um, explanation from her about what Deck did to her. This girl lives nowhere near where Deck lives. But here is a picture of Deck's dick. And again, as I said before, I can verify that this is him because I've seen so many fucking pictures of his dick now. Like, it's, it's ridiculous. <laughs> ridiculous. Brilliant. Not time to be making jokes, Michael. I'm going to be posting the full audio from these clips on my Patreon as well. There are a lot of things that I said in this, you know, voice message there's well, voice messages and as i said they're over five minutes long uh so i'll be putting again a full audio from this onto my patreon account if you guys want to check it out just to keep this video as minimalistic as possible i'll put up a screenshot just here i'll let you guys read through it because i'm dyslexic and she's dyslexic so a dyslexic trying to read a dyslexic's post out loud it wouldn't make sense <laughs> if you guys have a little read through this while i speak or if you want to pause the video and have a little read through it, um, up to you. But basically she explains that, you know, her and her friends went through similar situations um, with Deck, of him, you know, messaging them, being creepy when they were all underage. And like Deck would keep on inviting her into his car, which seems to be a reoccurring theme through loads of people that I've spoken to, that Deck used his very expensive car as a way to lure young girls in and drive them around and, you know, take them somewhere deserted and try and make moves to them because that way they felt pressured into doing it. In fact, another girl messaged me asking for me to call her on Snapchat. So, you know, I called her on Snapchat. She explained to me that when she was 14 and Deck was 18, this was back in December, Deck offered to drive her around after a lot of flirtatious conversations. He drove her out into the, basically into the countryside and tried to make moves on her. She was worried that if she said no, that something worse would happen to her like she would be raped or something like that. So she ended up, you know, doing stuff with Deck when she was 14 and going home afterwards. She was scared that if she didn't do it, something worse would happen to her. And I think that's a fucking horrible situation to be put in. But it seems to be a reoccurring theme with a lot of girls that Deck would bring them into his car and use that as a way to, to you know, theoretically trap them. You know, they had to get a lift home. And for them to get a lift home, they had to do what Dex said. So I saved these messages for last because they're some of the worst. Not from context or things that were said to this girl, but because she sent over evidence of him paying for child pornography, which is a completely separate crime to everything else that he's already been done for. I've got so much shit on it. And a screenshot of a PayPal message from Deck paying her 10 pounds, giving minors money for photos, picking kids up and driving them around. This girl was the girl in the front seat of the car from one of the previous conversations. You know, one of the girls said that, you know, there were three friends in the car and he touched all of them. This is one of them. So she sends over, you know, these two pictures that you can see here. One of them is a, uh, a recording that she took on her friend's phone after he sent her a dick pic. And this is that recording. In his car, I was sat in the front. He started squeezing my ass from down the side of the seat. And one of my mates, he also started trying to touch her boobs. He was sat in the back of the car with her. He's offered to buy me a pair of new shoes to have sex with him as well. And when he met me and my mates, he was always offering alcohol and fags. I've spoken to Blank. She has mentioned you may be doing another video on him. And I'm happy if you choose this convo, just don't show our names. But it's this photo here. At the time this girl was 14, 
he paid her ten pounds to show a nude. She never sent the nude, but the intent is there. He was paying for underage girls to show naked photos. He was trying to purchase child pornography. That isn't a mistake. You know, everything together in this video can't be a mistake. And once again, I just want to say if anyone has had an experience with Deck, every girl in this video, please, and others that haven't reached out to me, please, please, please go to the police. Please file a report. Give them every piece of evidence you have. Give it from you. You know, if I show them all of this, it's circumstantial. It doesn't hold weight. It needs to come from the girls that did it. So please, please file reports. I don't want these girls abusers out there. And I don't think anyone else does either. And it's a fucking shame. Because Deck isn't the only person that I've caught doing this. And I think this guy's worse. Hey, I'm real. I'm saying your name in case you...